Hello chess fans, this is Rick from Chess to Impress with number 6 in the series resigning in a winning position. This game was played in the Pan American Championships in 1963 between Rogelio Ortega, the chess champion from Cuba from 1958 and 1966 and the black player is Eduardo Echeverri the 1962 champion from Uruguay. Let's see what happened in this game. Ortega white, Echeverri black, e4 from the Cuban and knight f6. e5, knight d5. We are in an Alakain defense or Al Jochin defense depending on your pronunciation. c4 kicking the knight again, knight b6, d4, d6, f4, white has only made pawn moves but it's all theory, d takes, f takes, knight c6, bishop e3 finally developing a piece, bishop f5, knight f3 and here the main line is e6, knight c3, bishop e7 and then white plays either d5 or bishop e2. But in, in this game Echeverri decided on knight b4. Now there's a threat of knight c2 check, winning the rook in the corner. So knight a3 from Ortega is forced, protecting the c2 square. e6, bishop e2, bishop e7, both players castled, knight e1, f6 to open up, to open up the game, queen b3, f takes, d takes and c6 to keep the knight on a3 which is not well positioned from the b5 square. The knight goes another route, knight a c2, knight a6 avoiding swapping pieces, knight d4, knight c5 hitting the queen, queen back, queen c7, now white takes on f5, rook takes, rook takes and e takes, position is about equal. The 20th move is knight f3, knight bd7, bishop d4, knight e6, bishop steps back, knight dc5, queen c2 and knight e4. Black has maneuvered better than white and has a slight advantage. We've seen a lot of maneuvering over the last number of moves. Bishop d3, hitting the knight, queen b6 check and this is an interesting moment. Here Ortega decides to give a pawn. He plays c5, probably with the idea to give his pieces some room, the c4 square, the b3 square. Ideas like bishop c4 or queen b3 are now possible with the pawn on c4 gone. Echeverri took the pawn, check, and of course you cannot go to h1 because then there's knight f2 check and after king g1 there's knight takes d3 check, the queen then checks the king and black wins material. So king f1 is the only move and queen d5 protecting the knight on e4 which was attacked twice. Rook d1, rook d8, bishop back to e1 and here king h8 always a good idea to prophylactically move your king out of the dangerous diagonal if there ever is a bishop on c4 looking at screwing those pieces. Echeverry goes out of the way in advance. Bishop e2, 
you cannot go bishop c4 because the rook on d1 is hanging queen c5 rook takes bishop takes queen b3 from ortega and now a very nice move from echeverry which would have a big impact on how this game finished he played bishop b6 here a very nice move ignoring the attack from the queen on the knight because there's a checkmate combination if ortega would have taken the knight queen takes e6 then there is mate in two knight d2 check and you can take that knight in two ways but you get checkmated if the bishop takes then there is queen f2 checkmate and if the knight takes on d2 then the checkmate is on g1 very nice ortega had seen this he had seen that he could not take the knight on d6 and he played queen d3 instead defending the d2 square and at the same time looking for counterplay against black's king knight f4 from echeverry and there goes the queen looking for mating looking for mate or for a perpetual check echeverry has to defend now for a while g6 b4 is a nice move deflecting the queen Queen went to e3, Echeverry had seen that there is no perpetual check. Queen e8 check from Ortega. What he should have played here is bishop c4. Of course the bishop is hanging on e2 and playing it to c4. It's hard to believe but this is an equal position. There are four black pieces all over white's king, so it's impossible to believe that he's going to survive this but with the queen and the bishop into the attack from white it holds a balance white has perpetual check options but ortega played queen e8 check instead king g7 queen e7 check king goes to a6 and queen h4 check the knight interposes and now the threat is g6 g5 and the queen is getting boxed in so ortega played his queen back to e7 undoubtedly in heavy under heavy time pressure and now that checkmate combination that we had seen earlier still exists knight d2 check and ortega resigned it's the same variation as we had seen before that has two checkmates if the knight takes on d2 there's queen g1 checkmate and if the bishop takes in on d2 there's queen f2 checkmate but this is what both players had overlooked the position of the king the black king that is has changed and queen f2 is now an illegal move because the queen is pinned to the bishop on d2. So now white wins the queen and the game. It's crystal clear that both players had seen the mating combination earlier. Remember when white could not take the knight on e6 and they saw this combination was still there now and they hadn't rec recognized that because of the very on unlucky unfortunate position of the king on h6 there's a flaw in this combination ortega resigned after knight d2 check and must have had many nightmares of this game hope you enjoyed this resigning in a winning position video if you did please give it a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel and i'm looking forward to your comments this is rick from chester impress thank you for watching